everybody. I'm back again with another tutorial about Google Drawings. So this time I want to talk about jazzing up your lettering on your poster or Google Drawing that you're making. So first off, when you insert any text box by going here, you drag the size of text box you want and you begin typing. Um, let's say you're making a birthday message for someone or something along those lines. It doesn't look very fun. I mean, you can change the coloring by highlighting, making it bold, change the color. But we want to add another element to it by making it more like bubble letters. So I'm going to erase this text box by clicking on it and clicking delete. And I'm going to insert instead word art. So when I click on word art, this box appears and it says click use enter to save but shift and enter for multiple lines. So let's say we want to write Larissa's tips for, and then on the next line you want Google Drawings. You hit shift and enter to get to the next line, Google Drawings. So then we click enter to select it, and you're going to get nice bubble letters. Now, they come in the default of Arial, you can stretch to make it bigger or longer or wider or taller. Um, I don't love the color or the font, so I'm going to change the font to something a little more fun. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to move it over. Um, if you want to change the color of the background, you can click, or the inside color, I'm sorry, click on the paint can and choose whatever color you like and again we can do the line color around it maybe make it a blue if you want that line to be thicker you can do line weight of three let's say okay that's looking better and better now I'm thinking that it still doesn't look as great as I'd like it to look maybe we want it to pop a little with the shadow so what I'm going to do in that case is I'm going to, when I've got the four-sided arrow on my um, canvas, I'm going to click it and do a Command or Control C to copy. And then I'm going to do a Control or Command V to paste. So now you see I've got two um, of the exact same. And what I'm going to do is take the bottom one and change my coloring to black and we can make the line transparent. Then watch this magic happen. As you move the one that's in front of it up and over, ooh, you can make your letters shadowed whichever side or way that you want and how thick or thin you'd like it. But I think that looks pretty great. So there you go, another tip for making your lettering pop out and another tip for making your Google drawings and graphics and logos look that much better. Thanks for watching!